Hello. Today I want to talk about uh, the equipment you will be needing to reload quality ammunition. First off, you will be needing a reloading press. This is a Lee Challenger press. This is a very good quality press, very inexpensive. It will cost you about $50, $50, $60, brand new. I would recommend this press for the, uh, for the reloader who is just starting out. Second, you're going to be needing a uh, quality reloading scale. This is a uh, Lee reloading scale. It measures in grains. It has a 110 grain capacity. It's uh, very inexpensive. It costs between $20 and $30. Uh, you can get them at, uh, on, on uh, Midway, on Midway USA on the internet. You can also get it at uh, Cabela's or uh, maybe at your local uh, gun gun store. It's a little bit. It, this scale is a little bit tedious to set up and get used to, but once you get used to it, it is very accurate and uh, pretty much dead on. I I've been using it and been, been very happy with it. Next, you will be needing a dial caliper. A dial caliper basically measures the case and the cartridge overall length. You don't want the cases to be too long and you don't want the, uh, the uh, cartridges to be too long either. You want them to be fall into the right exact uh, th the length that the uh, reloading manuals tell you to have. So this is a pretty much must-have item if you're going to reload. Next you're going to need a reloading manual. This is a uh, Lee, this is by Richard Lee. And uh, he explains the reloading process and all the tools you'll be needing. And uh, most important of the book is uh, load data. This is a 220, 222 Remington Magnum and it gives you the, the powder and the, uh, the grains you'll be needing to load that am ammunition. You cannot guess on the powder charge. You got to have the exact, the exact powder charge for each powder you, you have that you're going to reload for. So this is a must item. Next, are you're going to be needing our uh, rifle dies. These are. Uh, this is a. 243 Winchester set of rifle dies. Rifle dies usually come with two dies, a, a resizing die that resizes the case to the original dimensions, and a bullet seating die, which seats, which self self-explanatory, it seats the bullet, and it also will crimp the bullet in place if you want to do that. You also need a uh, a uh, shell holder, shell holder goes into the press and keeps the keeps the case in line with the die so there's no play in the in the case must have item next uh, case conditioning tools this is a chamfer tool what it does is it chamfers the inside of the case mouth so the uh, so the bullet will seat easy, easily and it also deburs the outside of the case mouth so uh, when you run it through your uh, your uh, resizing die you won't scratch up your dies this is a uh, primer cleaner it just cleans out the residue from the, uh, the, the primer pocket it's a very inexpensive tool these tools cost probably four to five dollars and uh, must, another must-have item. We're needing a uh, powder funnel. Powder funnel just uh, basically saves a lot of headache. You know, you put the powder in there and to the case mouth, and it does not spill. It fits perfectly around the case mouth, so no powder spills all over your loading table. This is a probably a must-have item. A very inexpensive item. They cost between you know two, three dollars. 
probably also going to want a uh, hand priming tool. This is a Lee hand primer, auto prime. And uh, what it basically does is just, you know, the primers go in here, you put your case, and you prime your case, and you can prime your case anywhere you want, watching TV, outside. This is a this is a uh, very good item, very inexpensive too. It costs between, I say, I think I've paid like fifteen dollars for this, you know, brand new. So it's a it's something to think about if you want to reload. You can uh, also reload on on the press. The press comes with a uh, primer arm, but most people like to uh, prime off the press, as I do. You're going to be needing a resizing lubricant. When you run your uh, cases, resize your cases through your resizing die, you don't want to get a stuck case. So this is what this stuff is for. You put it on your, uh, you put it on your case so it does not get stuck in your die. This is good. This is the Lee. This is good stuff. This is not oil based. This is more like a paste. I like this stuff. This is very, very good. I, re I recommend this stuff over the uh, RCBS stuff or any other oil based uh, resizing lubricant. Uh, let's see, another item you probably want to get is a, I don't know if you can see this too good, this is a powder measure. This is a Lee Perfect Powder Measure. It, uh, it measures powder, a powder charge. This is set in cubic centimeters, so you can dial this in rather, rather quickly and easily. And it's pretty much dead on. And, uh, it's, it's also the most inexpensive powder measure you can buy on the market today. I got this on, uh, on Midway, at Midway for, uh, I believe, $20, if you can believe that. So this is, I recommend getting one of these because it really does speed up the uh, reloading process. You're also going to need a case trimmer. This is a Hornady. The, this is what the case trimmer does. Trim your cases, of course. Uh, when you shoot your brass, you fire your brass, and you resize your brass. It makes your brass stretch. And uh, if it gets too long, it will basically will not chamber well in your gun. So you have to trim your cases. It's a must. You, this is a. Uh, this is a Hornady. It's uh, they're they're kind of pricey. The best way I found, and the most inexpensive way to trim your cases, is buying the uh, the Lee case trimmers. Basically, all it is is a a mandrel, and it comes with a shell holder, and you have to buy the uh, you know the uh, cutter separately. And it comes with a lock stud, and screw it into your your cutter, and it's already no measuring, no nothing, and you just put it into your case, and it cuts the case to the desired length. You don't have to measure nothing. It's the easiest, simplest way to trim cases, and it's the, and the equipment needed costs so little. So this is the way I would go. You're also going to need a, uh, a bullet puller. You uh, reload, especially if you first start out, you're going to make some mistakes. So you're going to need to get one of these. And how it works is just it comes with little, little uh, collets for different sizes of calibers. And you just put the collet in the caliber and uh, it, uh, you, put it, you put it in the uh, bullet puller, you tighten the cap down. You give it a couple of whacks on, on the table, the bullet comes out in the powder and you're able to retrieve your components instead of just throwing away, throwing, throwing it all away, which is quite wasteful. So in my opinion, this is a must-have item if you're going to reload. Okay, that's about it for all the, uh, all the uh, basic tools you'll be needing for reloading. I uh, hope this uh, video helped uh, somebody out.
who's thinking about getting into reloading. And you know, just, just it's a good hobby, and uh, you know, if you want to give it a try, you know, it's, I, I would recommend it. Right.